Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing some pattern papers and I'm just going to bring you guys along with me and show you how I do them. So I'm just ripping up these pages from a book. You can use whatever you want. You can use tea dyed paper, copy paper, um, cardstock paper, newspaper. So I'm just using my book because this is what I always use for when I want to use book pages in my journal spreads. And I'm just going to be displaying them out. I'm going to be working on them at the same time. So I have eight pages here here now i'm just going to be grabbing my white paint i just get this paint from walmart they're like 50 something cents so if you want like cheap paints you can always go to walmart or dollar store and i'm just going to be putting them on these pages because i like starting off with a white background and i'm just going to be getting my starbucks card because this is what i use to spread my paints on my papers and I'm just doing it very randomly. I'm not doing it in a specific way. I just spread it all around. If I have very little paint on one page, I get more paint from another another spread and I just put it onto this one. Um, but I'm just spreading out like that. Just super easy. You can start off with whatever color. You can start off with black. I usually just do it with white because I really like that white or like, I really like just white in the background, honestly. So now that these are dry, I'm getting my watercolor crayon, and I forgot where I got these. I think I got them on Amazon, so I'll be linking it down in the description below if you guys are interested. And these are water soluble, so once you add water to them, then, you know, they turn into, like, paint or watercolor. Um, but I'm just going to be doing some marks. I'm just doing it randomly. I really enjoy making marks on my pages. I've been really enjoying that, especially with abstract um, painting, and I'm just getting my water right now and my brush and i'm just going to be spreading it around and also you can just i'm just adding like extra colors so the the color from the crayon stays onto the brush and i'm also just going to be like making some paint splatters and i'm just doing things very randomly i'm having fun with it i really enjoyed um making these book pages or pattern papers like this because it's very fun there's nothing specific it's not too clean and also heads up if you don't like messy art then don't watch the video because it gets very messy and the pages are just like all over the place but i really enjoy it but now i'm getting this color i think this is like a teal or green i'm not sure but this is i love this color so i'm just making some more marks just some rectangles squares circles and then i also like to just grab my brush and kind of just like just paint it like i i like to use hold my brush very loosely like at the end sometimes and just like be very messy with it and not do it a specific kind of way i really enjoy mark making it's been one of my favorite things i love these like big squares and also just add a little bit of water onto your paintbrush and then you could just do some paint splatters if you want but this i'm just holding my brush very loosely and i'm just adding some more marks and more paint onto the papers also this voice recording isn't very i d i usually plan out what i'm gonna say i write out what i'm gonna say but this one's just i'm just doing this in one shot and i'm just going to be talking as i watch this video it's not as easy as i thought it was but here i'm just adding some more paint splatters i really like that grungy look to my pattern papers and now i'm just going in with this pencil and i'm just going to be doing some more marks and again it's just very messy and very fun And I really like doing scribbles and making it look like they're kind of like little signatures, but I really enjoy this. And again, I hold the pencil very loosely. Also, here I was very upset because I don't know what happened to the clip, but you can see I added all these stamps and all these markings on it. Those are for my stamps and I don't know what happened. I don't know if I deleted the video or my phone just stopped recording but i don't know um i was very upset because i really enjoyed this project and i can't believe you guys can't see but i'm just getting this paint this like darker blue and i'm just adding more paint splatters and more marks but i'm going to be doing another video like this and i already recorded it and i'm going to be putting that one up next because i really wanted to show you what i did with the stamps and that was like my favorite part and you guys weren't even able to see it but yeah i'm just gonna go in with this other one and i'm just gonna add some more stamps so you guys can see i wasn't gonna add this but like i wanted to add into the video 
and you can use whatever you want you can get whatever objects around the house maybe like a lid from a pen or something that's like round or really anything you can get your um what's it called ink pad and just you know add paint to it or add um some what's it called some ink to it and just honestly with any object you can do this but i'm getting some more paint and just adding more and more just having fun just adding i also do like to leave some negative space so like some of the white areas i like to leave just by itself like that because it's, i like the contrast of it with like the messiness and then something light and like clear so here are all my book pages i'm very happy with the way that it came out and i love the pencil markings that i added but these are all of the pages and i wanted to do something with this i wanted to see if i can add this onto my etsy shop i don't know if i'll end up doing it please let me know if you guys want me to do that But I decided to scan my pages. I only did it with one and I printed it out and this is what it came out like. And I'm just going to show you what you can do. This is my journal spread that I haven't used in a long time. But I'm just going to do a mini little spread real quick. And I'm just going to get this little piece. I really like this little corner here with all the markings. It's really cute. So I'm just going to paste that down. I really like that blue color and the teal. It's very pretty together. But I'm just going to paste it down and I'm just going to be grabbing some random things that I find on my desk like some brown paper bag. Again, I love to reuse stuff so if you go shopping and you got a brown paper bag that they put your clothes in, then um, use that. I love to save that. You can do some markings on it, have that as pattern paper. But I'm just going to grab this piece. I'm not using the back part. I'm just going to use the brown because... I already have marking showing and I'm just gonna get this bird image this is actually a digital print that I have on my Etsy shop it's like three pages full of bird images that you can cut out and use into your journal spreads but I'm just gonna paste this in here and I really like the way that looks I like the little blue on the bird's chest because it really bring the markings in the corner really bring out that blue and I'm just getting my watercolor crayon and adding some more marks And I'm just going to be getting my brush and adding some more water to it so that it kind of just spreads out. And yeah, I really, really do like this little spread. And I just wanted to grab my pencil and add some more markings. And yeah, that's it for this little spread. And that took me like less than three minutes probably to do the spread. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really like the way that this spread came out. But I hope you guys enjoyed and that you got some new ideas. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.